Hey guys, it's Chris and Picky Geek, and I assume that you've read the title, so let's get started, shall we? Microsoft, live action Halo 4, followed by single player gameplay, 343 Studios are looking good, Splinter Cell Blacklist isn't a stealth game, swearing at the referee in FIFA 13 using Kinect, as well as voice commands which you'll also see in Madden, Fable the Journey still looks firmly on rails, and a very short teaser for Gears of War Judgment, featuring Baird, followed by a new open world look for the Forza series with Horizon. And suddenly they went all media center on us, with more Bing voice searching, more entertainment apps, NBA and NHL games, ESPN, another attempt at digital music, and Nike Plus, a new fitness game in the works, which killed the momentum of the conference and, well, this video, quite frankly. They regained our attention, however, with Xbox Smart Glass, Microsoft's answer to the Wii U, that lets you interact with TV shows, movies, and games using your own smartphone or tablet. Internet Explorer got its first round of applause in a very long time, and finally we were back to video games. Lara Croft had a pretty rough time in the new Tomb Raider trailer, then it was free exclusives for the XBLA, SN New Gods are hack and slash with some God of War moments, Loco Cycle has something to do with a female bike from the future, and Matter, a Kinect puzzle game. Resident Evil 6 is a fast paced action game and not a return to survival horror. Another XBLA title, Reketeer, which is a 3D catapult game for Kinect, and South Park The Stick of Truth will be an RPG that plays like an episode from the TV series. Bam, Usher was there asking us to dance with him. Microsoft wrapped up with Black Ops 2 gameplay from the campaign, and, well, it was a pretty disappointing conference overall. Electronic Arts, Dead Space 3 looks like a new direction for the series, we'll have drop-in, drop-out co-op, more Madden talk with a new physics engine and a more detailed career mode, SimCity Social may be a Facebook game but it's totally not Farmville, whereas the actual SimCity looks really good and we got some info about the multiplayer, it was later revealed that it may require a constant internet connection. Battlefield Premium launched and will give early access to 4 DLC packs, Star Wars The Old Republic will be getting a bunch of new features, a new race, planet, difficulty mode, increased level caps, all the good stuff, Medal of Honor looks and sounds great with the Frostbite 2 engine, but the single player still doesn't do anything different, although the multiplayer might. EA Sports still want to keep their games connected with mention of more cross-platform interaction and social features, FIFA 13 will be more physical and will include a new dribbling mechanic, EA Sports also announced their partnership with UFC, no game footage but good news for fans of MMA, Need for Speed Most Wanted showed open world driving, cop chases, and some very burnout looking crashes. And finally EA showed Crisis 3 which looks spectacular and if you don't believe me just check out this handy quote they included from 360 Gamer UK. Ubisoft, how on earth could you improve on last time? Don't do it with me. I said, Have I got you? Well, they started off well enough by making everyone in the audience feel nice and uncomfortable. And then a little bit more uncomfortable. Don't lie, you were looking at the hot girls. Even the girls were looking at the hot girls. You know, we're a little bit gay, all of us. Yeah! Before going straight to Boob Town with Far Cry 3, which still looks good, especially the player's relationship with Boss, the unhinged antagonist, then a pre rendered trailer of Blacklist before showing a brand new Marvel game that could be interesting, but it is being developed for the Kinect and Wii U. Speaking of the Wii U, Ubisoft were keen to show off what they had planned for the console. Starting with Rayman Legends, which looks brilliant and has up to 5 player co op on the Wii U, with the gamepad controlling a brand new character, then it was an intriguing trailer for an M rated survival horror game called Zombie U. Then it was time to show off the big game, Assassin's Creed 3 looks marvellous despite the number of dead British guys, free running through trees and some very fluid combat, but the real highlight of the conference and arguably E3 2012 was the final game they showed, a brand new IP called Watch Dogs. It involves scanning and hacking and shooting and looking so very visually impressive, go watch the demo, I won't do it justice here. Sony, Jack Tretton started us off talking about gaming and gamers and games as well as a heartfelt message to the big guy. I love you man. Quantum Dream then showed up to talk about their new game Beyond. The main character, played by Ellen Page, has some sort of connection with a ghost and it's hard to really say how the game will play but I imagine it might have some similarities with Heavy Rain. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale still has a really long name and looks very Super Smash Bros. Crossplay between the PS3 and Vita and two new characters were announced. There's also a cross-controller patch on the way for Little Big Planet 2 which makes the Vita an enhanced controller. More PS Plus games and PS1 classics coming to the Vita as well as Crackle and Hulu Plus. Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation is being developed for the Vita and the Ubisoft devs also use this time to show off naval combat in Assassin's Creed 3 proper. Far Cry 3 co-op with some rather unconvincing chatter between the players and the Wonderbook, which is some rather dreadful looking way to interact with stories and educational material, but they do have JK Rowling on board for the first release so no doubt this will sell really well despite it looking like this. PlayStation Suite is now PlayStation Mobile as Sony looked to certify certain mobile devices, starting with HTC, and God of War Ascension doesn't look particularly different other than a basic time control mechanic, Blood Gore, God of War. 
Finally, some fantastic gameplay from The Last of Us, which was apparently not scripted. Sony's conference was easily my favourite out of the big three, just because of the first party stuff they had on show. My least favourite was unfortunately Nintendo. It started off so promising with a charming intro from Miyamoto and the announcement of Pikmin 3 for the Wii U, then a very quick mention of some entertainment apps and the Wii U will support up to two gamepads at the same time. They showed the Miiverse, which allows users to send messages and pictures, and this will eventually make its way to the 3DS, mobile phones, and the PC. And new Super Mario Bros. U, which will support up to 5 player co op with the gamepad, and it looks very sleek in HD. Batman Arkham City Armored Edition probably doesn't do enough to make you want to buy another copy. Scribble Notes Unlimited offers continuous exploration, a story mode, multiplayer, and punk rocker dog cars. Mass Effect 3 was shown briefly in a montage of games coming to the Wii U. Is your body ready for Wii Fit You? Usually I'd mention the bad acting on display in this trailer, but Sing, a new karaoke game, knocks it out of the park. Onto the 3DS very briefly, New Super Mario Bros 2 has golden coins, lots of them, whereas Paper Mario Sticker Store has stickers that give you abilities as you collect them. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon will be tougher and don't forget Eeria in 3D, then a quick reel of third party games on the way. Next up was LEGO City Undercover for the Wii U, which looks to play like many of the other LEGO games, but with some gamepad features. Then Ubisoft were back again with Just Dance 4 on the Wii U, which lets the player with the pad select the moves. Notice the professional dancers getting predominantly OK ratings. They also showed how Zombie U will make use of the gamepad as a survival kit, and... Ah, oh, I like French food! But before the, oh. you scare me, Reggie. The final announcement was Nintendo Land for the Wii U that claimed to be this console's Wii Sports. It offers social games and attractions, with their example being Luigi's Ghost Mansion. I can't say I was particularly inspired, and the fireworks that were supposed to be the grand finale didn't help either. No price tag or launch date, and not a whole lot of reasons to get excited about the console just yet. Whew, I think I'm done. I'm going to have a lie down, but if you'd like to read more about what's going on in C3, our very own Zach Martin, Price St. Clair, and Brian Emerson have been hard at work writing up their hands-on impressions from the show floor, so check them out at pickygeek.com. Thank you for watching.